Hello everyone, this tutorial is meant to show you how to get started with using Google Docs in Google Drive. Uh, and I am currently using the Google Chrome browser and I am currently logged into my Google account. If you notice the black navigation bar across the top of the screen, my website currently says documents here. And until you install Google Drive, you, you will often see it uh, labeled as such. Once I click on documents though, you'll notice that it will quickly shift and call itself Drive and it takes me to the welcome window on this new account that I've created called Welcome to Google Drive. This is the general layout and format that you will see, uh, although I am getting this welcome splash screen here, Welcome Me to Google Drive, and giving me the option to install Google Drive for PC, or if you're on a Mac, this will say install for Mac or Apple. The other option is uh, also located over here to download Google Drive. Both of these options will install a folder on my uh, local machine, that will allow me to drag and drop existing files, whether they're spreadsheet files or PDFs or whatever it may be. And that folder, uh, that folder will automatically sync with my Google Drive account and back up and make all of those files accessible on the web and across multiple uh, platforms, whether it's tablet, phone, or, or computer. To get started, over here on the left-hand side, you'll notice I have two red buttons to do uh, two things, create a new document, or upload existing documents. We'll touch on uploading at a late, on a uh, later tutorial. For now, this create button on the left hand side allows me to do just that. When I click on create, I'll get the opportunity to create a number of Google Docs uh, from a drop down menu. I even have the opportunity to look deeper uh, into more and look at uh, fusion tables, scripts, and if I installed Chrome apps uh, at this point, I could pick from them as well. There's even a, a rich Google template uh, collection that I can pull from here. Uh, if I wanted to start organizing, I can either choose the folder here or add new folder here. And that will allow me to start to organize folders within folders and you know, collect my data in a fashion that uh, is easily uh, found at a later date. For now though, I'm just going to go ahead to create a new document. When I do that, you'll see that this Google Doc opens up for me and I want to draw your attention to the upper left hand corner where it says untitled document. I'm going to click on that one time and where it asks me to rename the document I'm just going to call this test one. Choose OK. You'll see that my document is renamed and you'll also notice that this section right here changed to all changes saved in Drive. Every change you make is automatically saved in Drive. So as you're editing in the cloud Google Docs will automatically save your content for you and save everything for you. There is no control S or, or save button. It's done for you automatically, so that's a wonderful feature. Once I'm in here, I can just simply call this Hello World or something to get started. Now I'm editing. This is saving live in the cloud. Uh, I also want to mention briefly how you can share this document with multiple editors. Over here in the right-hand side, you can see that there's a share button. And when I hover on that button, it tells me that this is private to only me. If I click on share, I'll get this pop-up window. And the sharing settings allows me to do a couple things. One, who has access? I can change the total access to this document by clicking on change here. And that will give me the opportunity to change this to public, uh, which means anyone on the web can see it and find it. Anyone that I share the link with or continue to keep it private. I'll choose to make this anyone with a link. You'll notice that when I choose that, I get an access control. Currently, anyone can access this document. I'm going to leave it that way. Uh, and notice to the right here that it says, can view. I have it set so that anyone can view this document. If I wanted to say that anyone I provided the link to could also edit it, I would just simply drop this down and change it to edit. And then anyone can add or take away, away or completely edit the document as well. There's also a third and middle option where you can not only allow folks to view, but they can comment on the document, not necessarily edit the, uh, the content within it. I'm going to keep it on Ken View. I'm going to choose Save. And you'll notice now that anyone who has the link can view this particular document. If I didn't want to set up the global changes here and I just wanted to add people individually, I can come into this section and add email addresses. And I have similar options to the right. So if I add a colleague's email address and I change this to can edit or can view, I'm giving just that individual the access rights listed here. And I can also notify them by email. I'm going to go ahead and choose share and save. Oh, actually, before I do that, I mentioned um, that anyone who has this link can view this document. If you notice at the top here, I'm provided a link that I can click on and copy. 
and paste into an email or any other uh, shareable content that I want to give to folks so that they can access this document. I also have the opportunity to launch social media sites and share. I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to uh, choose done at this point. And here's my first Google Doc. You can see it looks a lot like uh, what you would see in any other word processor. I have my edit tools. I have shared it now. So when I hover on this, you can see that my anyone with the link settings have taken effect. Uh, Google has recently added this little feature that allows me to hide the menus and give more viewable screen size. So if I click on that, you'll see that the whole window pops up and that's a toggle that will bring that back down as well. So I have this document created uh, and if I want to return to my previous uh, Google Docs or Google Drive listings, I can just come here and when I hover on the title, you'll see that I get this left facing arrow and I click on that and it will take me back to Google Drive where now you'll notice that I have a list of my drive files and the first file that I've created uh, here today. So thank you for tuning in. I hope this is helpful and uh, look for more coming soon.